thank you, Holy Spirit, for being with us today. Thank you for entering into this place to reveal Jesus to us. Thank you that that is your mission and your assignment and your plan is to reveal Jesus to us. Holy Spirit, we, we submit this time to you. We submit our, our, all of our attention and all of our emotion, and all, of our, all of our plans, God. We submit it to you right now. In this next hour, Jesus, we're here to encounter you, you and you alone, to worship you and you alone, to enthrone you and you alone. We submit ourselves to you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We are so grateful for who you are, for what you did on the cross. We want to be with you where you are, Jesus.
cost Jesus and we count it as absolutely nothing when we consider the cost of what it costs to not follow you I'm not willing to pay that price Jesus I'm not willing to pay the price to not follow Jesus I will pay any price I will walk through any fire any fire that requires that is required to walk through to ascend the hill of the Lord I say yes to it we say yes to it Jesus I just feel like guys there's this there's this invitation from the Lord right now to not consider what it costs to follow him but to consider are you actually willing to pay what it costs to not follow him cuz I'm not <laughs> I'm not gonna pay that price because the enemy comes to steal and kill and destroy and I'm not paying that price. Jesus, we need your help to follow you. 
In Jesus' name, I break off any, any anxiety and fear that surrounds the idea of paying a price to follow Jesus, of paying a price to laying down your lives. All anxiety and fear and lies go now in the name of Jesus. Let courage and boldness fill you in Jesus' name. May you be filled with courage and boldness to lay down your life for Jesus, to lay down your life for the gospel, to lay down your life so that he might be made famous in all of the world.
who make her stand the of the Lord. He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who may ascend the hill of the Lord. Oh, oh, he who has clean hands and a pure heart, who may ascend the hill.
the sheep. Oh, so clean my heart, remove all the impurities. Oh, like gold in the furnace. Oh, remove all the impurities. Oh, like silver in the fire. Oh. forehead up against Jesus' forehead, the same way that John laid his head on Jesus' chest. Just go ahead and lean forward and touch your forehead to Jesus'. Surrender your imagination to the Holy Spirit. Just just take some time. Just, a, just ask for Holy Spirit to, to take complete control of your imagination and lean your forehead up against Jesus's. It is his eyes that are on fire and it is that fire that will yeah. refine you yeah. and it is yeah. that fire that yeah. will purify your heart. It is that fire that is in his eyes that will take you up the hill of the Lord. To see him and to know him rightly to ascend the hill of the Lord. Look into his eyes of fire. Look into his eyes of fire. He's purifying you right now. Insecurities are gone. Anxiety is gone. Fear is gone. Depression is gone. It's all gone. When you look into the fire of his eyes, he's burning it all away. He's burning it all away. His burning eyes of love as he looks to you. He's in love with you and he's burning it all away. Take some deep breaths where you are. Breathe in his breath of life. Your forehead to forehead. You're breathing his breath of life. Jesus for your fire. It's you that refines us. You are the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by you. Remind us of that, Jesus. want to be consumed by you, Jesus, completely consumed by you, Jesus. You're a fire, a refiner, I want to be consumed. You're a fire, a refiner. You refine, the refiner. I wanna be consumed. Oh, you refine, the refiner. I wanna. You refine, you refine, the refiner. I wanna be God. Oh, you refine, the refiner. I wanna be tried. I wanna be tried by fire. Purify. You take whatever you deserve. Lord, He's in my life. I wanna be tried by fire. Purify. You take whatever you.
I see people with these backpacks on trying to ascend the hill of the Lord and and as they're they're going up these backpacks are getting bigger and bigger and and I asked Lord what what are these backpacks and I felt like he said it is it's unnecessary pressure that they've put on words I've given them so the Lord has given you this backpack and he, he has put words in it that are our assignments for you to carry out but we've put our own definitions on them and we've put our own applications on them. And these backpacks are way too heavy for us to carry, but his yoke is easy and his burden is light. So I see him stopping you on this mountain and he's like, hey, let's unload this backpack. But, but some of us have a really hard time because we're in this moment of, no God, you said it. I got it, I got it, you said it, I got it, I got it. You said, you said this. And we won't, we won't give it back to him, but it's not us that fulfills the word of the Lord. It is the, it is the Lord who fulfills his word and we partner with him. So take a moment and take off this backpack. You're gonna feel so much better. Jesus, every word that you've given us, God, we give it back to you. We thank you, Jesus, that you carry our burdens, that you, not even burdens, but you carry out the word that you have spoken. Some of you have promises over your life that are so big that you get bogged down by, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. And this backpack is way too heavy. Do it.
Oh 